The News for Jack Super 10 has seen some stability at the top. Trinity Christian has been number one all year long so far. But behind them, there has been some movement. Lee has been moving up. This week, the Generals are in at number three in our poll. And today, they travel to Mandarin to face the Mustangs, a team with their quarterback, Carson Beck, fighting an injury. To Mandarin we go. Lee with the blue pants, Mandarin in the all orange. Mustangs without Beck, who was injured last week. Trey Lawrence in at quarterback, and he throws deep out of his own territory. Clarence Conyers there for the interception for the Generals, takes it to the Mandarin 16. Next play, Taz Nicholson takes the handoff out of the shotgun, pops out of the pile and comes right at you for the touchdown. Generals up 7-0. Later in the corner, Generals defense looking like they have a safety here, but the refs don't see it that way. It does lead to good field position for the offense. First play of the second quarter, Nicholson takes the inside handoff, and off he goes around the end, points at the defenders as he walks in for the touchdown. Generals up 13-0. Taz with four touchdowns in the game. Lee wins it 38-13. Fletcher at Inglewood. Fletcher in the white, Inglewood black and gold. First half, Senators up 24-7, Rams driving. But Reed Manabat crashes through the line for the quarterback sack, stops the drive with a minute 12 left in the half. Senators with the ball at their own 21-yard line, third and 10. Will Weish hits Jeremiah Payton down the middle for 20 yards. Two plays later, Weish would drop back again. This time, he's looking for Miles Montgomery, gives it to him, blockers out in front. He's got a convoy heading to the sideline, cuts it back, and fumbles the football. It rolls into the end zone. It's a race for the ball and a pileup. Finally, the ref signals Fletcher, 34 to seven Senators at the half, they would win it. 47 to seven, the final. Both Nice and Bishop Kenny have started the year slower than they would like. Both teams were winless heading into today's matchup. Last week, Nice managed only six points in a loss to Orange Park, and Kenny has been plagued by turnovers, giving the ball away six times this year. One team, though, would find their first win tonight. To BK we go with Nice in the all-white, Bishop Kenny with the red tops. There's the Kenny cheerleaders, both Crusaders and Panthers looking for the win. Into the first quarter here, Kenny driving, George Farman connects with Jonathan Jones for a first down to the Nice 30. They would kick a field goal to take a 3-0 halftime lead. Crusaders get the ball to start the second half, driving again until the Panthers' Eric Marshall breaks it up, forcing another field goal, 6-0 Kenny after that. Ensuing possession for Nice. Quarterback Joseph Nievis calls his known number, and it was the right call. Good blocking as Nievis goes all the way to the Kenny 10-yard line. That play worked? Well, hey, why not call it again on third and goal. Nieves on the quarterback keeper in for the score. Extra point was no good. Ties it at six, but Kenny would kick another field goal. And the final score, Bishop Kenny wins it nine to six. Atlantic Coast at Orange Park. Atlantic Coast in the white. Orange Park with the all orange look. Third quarter, Orange Park up 28-20. Vincent Walker Jr. on third and 15. Let's it fly. Diego Soto brings it in for the Raiders. First down at the 25-yard game. Next play, Alex Collier takes the handoff out of the shotgun. Right up the middle, rumbles for 20 yards. Helping Orange Park on the road. Couple of plays later, Walker Jr. going up top for Soto again. This time it's a Raiders touchdown, Orange Park up 35-20. Fourth quarter, same score. Stingray's going for it on fourth down, but Jeremy Barber for Orange Park there to break it up. Orange Park wins, final score. Raiders win 35 to 20. Bartram trail at Clay. Bartram in the blue plants. Clay in the all black. Bears on the opening possession at the Clay 21 yard line. Chad Dotson with a shovel pass to Devin Ellison. And Ellison does the rest. Sprints out of a tackle at the 10 and extends for the touchdown. 7 0 Bartram trail. Bears defense with a third down stop. Luis Rodriguez around the edge for the sack. Devils are forced to punt. Bears get back on the board. Dodson will roll left, look for Griffin Helm. He's behind everybody, makes the catch. 20-yard touchdown, 14-0 Bears. Bartram Trail wins it, 34-13. Coming up, we name our All-Star of the Night from tonight's game, and still to come, we check in on Menendez. The Falcons came into tonight unbeaten after knocking off their rival St. Augustine last week. Could Yuli sting the Falcons? And Sky 4 was high above as West Nassau kicked off against Providence tonight. The Warriors got a big win on the road. Sky 4 was there, and we'll be back with Football Friday right after this.
Football Friday on 4, presented by the law firm of Fair and Farah.